So she went in and came back out. She's right here. So I'm not gonna force her. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, oh no! So I caught her. Caught her here. And now I'm gonna try. Oh! Right there. Oops, sorry. Doesn't seem like they're hurting. Hopefully they'll get her to go in here. I'm gonna get my queen clip. Oh, she just fell off. Filming and we got a queen clip. But it looks like bees are trying to hurt her here, so I'm not gonna put her. See what she's gonna do here. She kinda hunkering down. But it seems like they're they're uh, not trying to sting her, so that's that's good. Let's see if they're gonna accept her here. I'm going to keep watching and see if I can watch her walk in. She is. There she comes. There she is right there. And she just went on in. And she's coming back out. She came out and went back in. So I'm gonna do the next one. I got four more to do like this. And hopefully they'll accept them.
So it looks like the first queen that I um, caged and put in here, uh, mated queen, has been uh, released. Uh, this is about a week later. I'm going in and just seeing what's going on here. Okay, I'll come back if I On uh, camera, the stub tail queen. That girl. I'm sure if I'm getting that here. Yeah, I see her now. Man, she is a good laying queen. Uh, but right now I'm taking them out of a double stack nuke and putting them in a 10 frame box. And I'll be adding to this box. I was out here going through my uh, hives out here. And uh, this hive had a, a mated queen that was caged in it. And they released her. I seen her in here. I seen eggs in here. And when I was almost finished going through the hives here, they swarmed out on me. Well, when they started doing all that, I just took some uh, lemongrass oil and put it right by the entrance here and uh, sprayed it on a couple other empty boxes just in case, and they came back to here. So uh, it looked like the queen was right here where these bees are huddled up. But I think she flew back up here and it seems like they're starting to go in now because there was a lot more bees hanging off the front of this thing so um, they still got plenty of room in here i'm not sure what happened but i'll come back and check on them later okay so i came back to the uh bee house today this is the first column here that uh, I'm doing a trap out on and I had to add another box to this uh, to this hive right here because that top box right there was full of bees packed and I still have a lot of bees that are still in the column right now and coming out so Look on this side here seems like I've got them trapped out pretty good so far and uh, now I'm just trying to get them to come down what I did too since the entrance is so far down now I just stuck a shim under the top to where bees can just enough space for a bee to go in and out so they'll start migrating down and into the box which they're already starting to do so I'll come back in a little bit and show you how it's looking Hey, get out of there.